Hey guys, welcome to part two of building the chicken coop. Today I'm going to be putting the sides up. I'll be having the door over here. It's also raised up a little bit higher on this side. We have a little bit of a retaining wall that I built this around. Uh, so if I wanted to clean it out and just put a bucket or uh, a tarp underneath there and just slide everything out. So I'm going to start bringing over the panels and my dog, she's uh, just checking everything out. So making sure everything's up to the highest standard possible, always. All right. So I need to trim that back corner a little bit um, where that retaining wall is. The skirt hangs a little bit too low to get that flush so I'm just going to mark it up, measure it and use some tin snips. I picked up some I picked up some free paint the other day, actually, uh, off of Craigslist. So, some actually some exterior paint. There's like a tan color, and like a little bit of a sagey green, maybe light, maybe like a sea foam. I don't know what the actual color is. Uh, so maybe one of those colors might. This wall here, I think, is going to be where they're going to come in and out from. Here's my dog, inspecting it, as usual, making sure things are good to go. And uh, I might frame out a little uh, box for, for a door to go. Uh, have to really figure that out. I'm going to put the other side up. Um, and this way it'll still give me plenty of space. So, I've been giving it a lot of thought and I think I came up with a way to have the chicken door operate. What I have here is a, a U-channel. I just have this on the outside of the floor and this piece goes right up against the rafter or the, that mid support and I'm just gonna take a screw going through the top and then with the two of them this will go right in between Like so. And I'll attach it to some eye hooks and uh, some string or a wire I think I'm going to use so it's a little bit stronger. And then uh, I'll probably just run it out right to over here. So I don't have to go into the chicken coop every single day to open the door. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to install these. Before I show you how to do that, I thought it would be cool for me to show you guys some of the free stuff I picked up yesterday off of Craigslist. I picked up these uh, T-posts. There's three of them, and then there's one little short guy. This composter. These two metal sawhorses. This raised bed. 
think that'll look pretty nice in, in the yard. And this is by far the coolest thing I picked up yesterday. It's a planter table. Um, but I just thought that was super rad. What I think I'm going to do now that this all works is I'm going to cut out here on the outside and I'm going to put a screw in from the outside. It's going to hold these from uh, slipping out. I might um, sand the, these edges a little bit, create a little less friction there and, uh, and put a two eye hooks here an eye hook here and uh, probably an eye hook right here as well. So I'm just going to straighten these these edges out with my pliers. Um, I used the same technique in cutting down the sides um, of of the old shed, and I'm going to leave this as a as an overhang. And if I ever wanted to use this shed again, just I can simply just screw it back down. So I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but it's pretty meticulous. Uh, pretty much just give it a good squeeze to straighten out that, that little wave that's created when the nut goes in and out. So, giving it a little turn if necessary. I didn't think of this before, but... I'm going to have a gap here now, so I think I'm just going to tack some sheets of plywood, a couple screws, hold it in, shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm going to bring the ply piece of plywood over to seal those corners out, um, so get to test these guys out, that's exciting. I'm going to measure the other side out and cut that too. There's a gap in the top too that I didn't consider. So I took off that track and I stapled in um, that hardware cloth there. It's actually two pieces and I bent this metal wire to hold the pieces together in the middle. Okay, while well I have the saw out and some daylight left today. I wanted to show you the first step I'm going to be taking in getting 
these pallets ready to pee the fence for the chicken run. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut. So that's the first set. Then we make the second round of cuts. And this should just come off just like that. I'm going to make the second set of cuts. I just have it on that first cut just to give it a little bit more stability while I'm leaning on it trying to cut these out. So, the end of this, this is what you get. A nice, pretty looking picket fence. This completes part two of me building a chicken coop. Join me next time where I build the ramp for the chickens to come in and out of and the perch for them inside. Also, I might be putting up that fourth wall and the roof on. Stay tuned for part three, building a chicken coop. If you find these videos helpful, please hit the subscribe button, and if you find a particular video useful or helpful, please click the like button. Bye.